Well, turning now to the terror attack in New York City. Eight people were killed, and tonight we are learning more about those victims. Five of them from Argentina visiting New York to celebrate the 30th anniversary of their graduation. Now, one was from Belgium, and the other victims were Americans. Now, one of the Americans was a college graduate working as a software engineer. The other, a doting son who had recently lost 100 pounds and was getting in a bike ride between meetings at his job at the World Trade Center. As for the suspected terrorist who mowed them down, today 29-year-old Sefulo Saipov was brought into court in a wheelchair to face terrorism charges. A massive team of investigators is going inch by inch over the crime scene, stretching nearly a mile along a bike path from Houston Street to Chambers Street in Lower Manhattan. While others search for a motive for the carnage they say was caused by 29-year-old Saifulo Saipov. Authorities say it does not appear the Uzbeki national was the target of any probe, but has associates who were on the FBI's radar. Investigators suspect Saipov became radicalized in the U.S., and notes left in the truck make it clear that he had been planning the attack for weeks, likely inspired by the Islamic State. He appears to have followed um, almost exactly to AT the instructions that ISIS has put out in its social media channels before with instructions to their followers on how to carry out such an attack. Here in the U.S. since 2010 on a legal diversity visa, Saipov allegedly drove a rented Home Depot truck at high speed, deliberately hitting bicyclists and pedestrians before slamming into a school bus, killing eight people and wounding a dozen others. There's multiple people on the ground, Central. We need buses from Houston all the way down to Chambers. I got to four or five people on the ground. Got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. Authorities say Saipov jumped out of the truck yelling Allahu Akbar, meaning God is great in Arabic, holding what appeared to be two handguns, leaving several knives behind in the vehicle. The weapons turned out to be paintball and pellet guns. A five-year veteran NYPD officer Ryan Nash, responding to the scene, shot and wounded the suspect, who is now out of surgery. Authorities are searching residents connected to the suspect in Florida and Patterson, New Jersey, where he rented an apartment next to a mosque he also attended. They've also questioned his wife, who reportedly claimed no prior knowledge of the attack. And investigators are interviewing friends and family and going through Saipov's internet and phone history to look for influences or connections to known radicals. Five of the dead were Argentinians, two were Americans, the other a Belgian. And nine of the 12 injured are still hospitalized in either serious or critical condition. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders says the Trump administration considers the New York truck attack suspect to be an enemy combatant. Uh, she also says President Trump is open to sending the alleged attacker to the U.S. prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Now, yesterday's attack has reignited the debate over immigration in the United States. The suspect was able to get into the U.S. from Uzbekistan legally through a diversity visa lottery. Now, under that program, the State Department offers 50,000 visas to immigrants from areas with relatively low immigration rates. President Trump today made it clear that he wants to scrap that and move toward what he calls extreme vetting. We have to get much tougher. We have to get much smarter, and we have to get much less politically correct. Well, it's unclear whether or when lawmakers will take up the president's request to end the program. Many Democrats have argued against this, saying it would encourage illegal immigration by closing a popular pathway for legal immigrants. Russ?